What is up, peeps? We got some crazy news out there. As Nation has now announced the brand new LA Thieves Call of Duty roster in a crazy way because he's been acting as if this was not going to be the teased roster for quite some time. And more importantly, he's going to be paying out of pocket for his own team consisting of Scrappy, Hydra, Envoy, and Ghosty, now all on one roster for LA Thieves. And Nation himself, when he announced it, actually broke the news. He even took money out of his own pocket, reducing his salary with 100 Thieves to get these contracts over the line. So, you know what? When these leaks started coming out, it actually wasn't guaranteed that this roster was gonna be coming to LA Thieves. Like, I mean, this really was like a massive undertaking for the entire organization to try to get these players over to to the team and uh holy fuck was it expensive i mean this roster almost slipped through our fingers probably like two times over you know at one point we came to you know terms and agreement and then rug kind of got pulled out from underneath us and the players went dark they weren't texting me back anymore i was facetiming with these guys like every night trying to you know get the verbal commitment try to get this team over the line and i thought we lost it i'm serious bro like hand to god i thought we lost this team like two or three times but it was probably the most stressed out i've been in a very very long time i'll tell you what too any sub that comes into the chat is very much appreciated because this shit was expensive i'm not even gonna lie chat i wasn't sure if i was gonna talk about it but my wife's feeling and gracie feeling the effects of this decision bro because i gave up part of my own salary to, to get these contracts over the line, bro, because we ran out of money. So these subs are a very big deal, gentlemen. Thank you very, very much. Which is pretty crazy. I have to imagine most of Nate Shot's income is actually coming from Twitch these days. He has been uh, raking it in over there. But nonetheless, for a CEO to reduce his salary with the company just to make sure this COD roster could happen, it's pretty cool. According to someone like Methods, he does say there were maybe some rival offers over in Texas as well. So if Thieves had to match them, uh, that being price wise and also allowed them to compete out of texas you know uh living in la it, it's certainly not cheap so a bit of that makes sense hold on i'm assuming you guys are playing nah. out of la right now i'll be in texas oh shit no way you guys are playing out of Dallas, okay scraps dude. insane yeah uh guys no he's playing way. out of texas uh that was one of the uh like i forced nade said i wouldn't join wait are you being serious are you guys kind actually of, playing out of kind texas? of there was another That's team offering them as much money as us and they could live in texas and so Todd we house? had to no uh you guys doing a thieves house that actually be sick we had to make it work they're gonna be playing out of texas shout out scrappy for just really ripping the band-aid off sure, bro you guys can't smoke Long down neck. here you guys will be fucking awful sober and even more so, it was up until just a day ago, we had Nate Shot acting as if he had no clue this roster was going to happen. And hey, maybe these dotted lines, they don't get signed till last minute, but presumably this was known thanks to Jake Hale uh, and others, you know, for several days now, a long, long time has been hinted at this being the super team roster. So for it to finally come together, it's pretty insane. But even up until late last night, Nate Shot was saying, no, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Scrap just got leaked that he's going to 100T really on Zuma stream. Can get like a, Everybody been like saying that shit. Like They've that. been this rumor's been going on for a week, brother. It'd make the game infinitely better, I think. think I don't know what our fucking team is yet. Dead ass. Play, but then also corn acting all you want. Um, I don't know. It, it's just beneficial all around. The only the only case that you can make for people not playing like or for people in we're not allowing like an FPL type system where it's run by like a third party. Bro, we know you know. If Riot wants pro players to play, you guys just want you guys just what you guys are just getting hand, you guys getting your hopes none up. Of the fucking pro players play the rank queue anyway. All right. So, what's FPL? I'm telling kind of you like something a, directly. A match, a match system that's yeah. Really, everybody it's just like says cat. It's been bullshitting. Uh, I think we know you're lying. With, what do you want me to uh, say? I mean, I just told you the truth. How how else am I gonna convince you? And the very best part about this is, hey, there's some spice in the Call of Duty League again, okay? We have some new teams joining, some old teams finally getting out, and there's going to be some spice and storylines to add on to, especially with Nade having this team that he has apparently paid a lot of money for despite salaries coming down probably closer to where they should be. It is all the more funny when Nade Shot comes out and says this, the amount of money they've paid, some of which is his very own, and then Scrap's first debut stream, uh, he's, smoking, he's smoking the good stuff live on stream for Nade to watch and, and realize, hey, maybe I need my money back. Oh my fucking God, dude. What's poppin', G? Oh my. Stream, what's poppin'? <laughs>
Oh, that was a bad decision, <laughs> brother. I need that money What's back. Poppin'? 100 Thieves. I need it back. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Snoop Dogg? What is going on, I brother? <laughs> oh my god, bro. What does he think this is, dude? <laughs> bro, what is going on? Has he ever done this on stream chat? I didn't even know the fucking guy streamed. With the 10. Yo, Sam, you ready? 15, Sam. 15. Yo, tell Sam. Wait, 15 or 10? He can't even read, bro. He don't even know simple math. There is no way they this guy's reading kids. spawns, bro. He can't okay. even read the fucking screen. Scrap might have aura, dude. I hate to admit it. Scrap that ass might have aura. So that's it. Nate Shot has finally signed his Call of Duty League super team. What do you guys think about the roster on paper? It looks pretty nasty. Can they bring home some titles? And maybe good old ring for the organization. And will it be worth the funds that Nadeshot is now paying with, with probably his Twitch stream, which is, is doing well. And even the guy talking about maybe a watch party or something else around this Call of Duty roster. It was a good day for 100 Thieves, at least in Call of Duty. If you guys are League fans, you know you know. Till next time, take care of yourselves. Drink up. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.